More, good morning, uh, privateers. This is the final day of the week here, Friday the 26th, the Asian Open, the North American Wrap. It was a, a extremely busy day. Volatility is picking up, at least intraday volatility is picking up, and the the uh, you know overall vols are coming off the floor. We've seen this ticking up kind of since the turn of the year. Let's take a look at uh, what happened here in Euro dollar. Uh, here's a 240 chart. So Euro dollar rallied pretty aggressively over the, uh, let's get to the hourly just so you can see what it did around Draghi. But so the market was expecting, you know, as we discussed yesterday, the market was expecting a dovish Draghi and for him to talk the currency lower, neither of which happened today. Um, he didn't really say anything new and was not all that aggressive with the, or that concerned about the, the recent Euro strength. So you can see here, we went from 124, uh, the figure, and uh, this was that hourly high here, 124.60 area. We finally broke it. We went straight up, and we got as high as 125.38. And you can see here on this, this next hour where we did have this kind of spinning top type uh, reversal pattern. Went up again, could not take out the, the high. And the big down, the big red down bar here was Trump later in the day uh, in the early afternoon in New York where he basically said that Munchen's comments were misinterpreted yesterday, which as we all know was that kind of last leg down of the dollar. Big reversal, um, talked about the dollar being strong, the US being strong, blah, blah, blah. I have not heard a president speak of the dollar ever in my 25 year career in foreign exchange. So this definitely caught the market a little bit off guard. We had a big swift move down from 124.80. It got all the way down to 123.65. This is a key point now for us. You can see there was an old hourly high and an old hourly low there. Uh, we're negative on the day. There are some very, um, if we get over the daily charts, and you can go through these on your own, um, very ugly daily bar here in Euro. Aussie, big reversal. We now have a double top close enough to a double top in Aussie. Sterling, reversal lower day. There's some talk of um, replacing May, basically kicking her out. And uh, I'm not sure who the next, who would who would be the next uh, PM, but it, if it's Boris Johnson, that's a very negative cable because he's more of a hard Brexit, Brexiteer type. So th this is something to watch for. Um, this will be a headline type trade. Kiwi dollar. Remember yesterday we had the we really weak CPI, so we did have that reversal lower day. We did go back and test this 73.90 level, um, but on the daily we, we, we closed lower. And we're keeping a close watch on this hourly moving average. Scroll back. Closed under the 100 hour here. Finally, a few hours ago, we tested this 200 hour pretty much to the tick. Let's look back. We have not been below the 200 hour. We haven't even really tested the 200 hour moving average since this massive uh, trend higher back on the uh, 19th of December. See here, this is where we crossed the 100 hour and the 200 hour. And it's pretty much been a straight line up. So, Kiwi for us with the weak CPI, these Trump, the Trump rhetoric today, um, we like this one lower. We'll be selling breaks through this through this 200 hour moving average and looking to pick some up down here, 7260. Um, so that's a Kiwi dollar. Uh, you know, we can take a look at just on the hourlies. All these hourly charts look the same. Here's dollar yen, came out of the seller, 108.50 was a low. There was some uh, 
reported bids down here, probably Bank of Japan, um, trying to slow this this recent dollar sell-off. Big move up from 108.50. It got as high as 109.70 before it pulled back. But you know, closing uh, closing pretty much unchanged. Um, or cl cl closing, you know, right around here, this 109.40 level. Um, so that that theme is pretty consistent, where we had, you know, dollar strength across the board on the Trump comments. Here's the dollar index getting down to. We have a, a big level down near 88, around 88. Um, got down to 88.44 today. So that kind of held in there. Dollar China, which has been a good proxy for the euro dollar, got down to 629.65 was a low. Closed up here at 632. Last time dollar China was down here uh, was back in 16, where we got down to 621. You can see it right here, this huge got down to 621 and that's when there was that kind of soft uh, CNH, CNY devaluation where we went from 621 up to 655 in, you know, in one day. So a lot of things kind of lining up, these reversal patterns in the dollar. Um, perhaps it was a, it's, it's time for this dollar sell off to, um, to correct. A bit, and that, uh, it's kind of where we're leaning right now. We need some more information. Probably need another day, do, day of dollar strength. Here's dollar Swiss uh, that took out the 2017 lows at 94.20, and sold off pretty aggressively down to 92.90, and then reversed higher with the Trump comments as well. So it's still a little bit early to call a dollar uh, a dollar bottom, but. Just with the the rate of change and the uh, the, the swift sell off that we've seen since the beginning of the year, we are thinking that dollars due for a, you know two or three percent correction higher. Uh, economic data coming up, nothing really. In uh, we got uh, Bank of Japan uh, policy minutes. Uh, it's a bank holiday in Australia, so a lot of you will not even be at work today. Uh, enjoying the long weekend. Then we have CAD CPI in the morning, which will be important for sure. And US GDP, the advanced number, durable goods. And uh, we will have some Carney, Corota, Trump is supposed to be speaking tomorrow. A lot of these Davos uh, players will be, uh, will be hitting the headlines tomorrow. So uh, good luck trading if you are not taking a long weekend and look out for us on the European Open and I will speak to you next over the weekend uh, before markets open on uh, on Monday morning. Good luck. Cheers.